What's going on guys? It is episode 5 of Gotta Cut It All, my mini cut series. Welcome back to the channel guys. It's Lance. How's everybody doing today? Alright, so let's get straight into it. This is the diet update, the uh, weigh-in update episode. And uh, it's actually, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's actually uh, Wednesday july 13th i was supposed to weigh in on the 11th which i actually did weigh in uh, i don't know if i'll put it on the screen or if i'll just tell you about it but i weighed in at 214.2 pounds on monday morning the 11th uh and that would have been let's see that would have been that would have been a 1.5 pound gain from my last weigh-in last week and I was pretty upset about that when I woke up that morning. Uh, I feel like I'm yelling right now because I don't know if the wind is bad or whatever. There's other things around me. But anyways, I woke up that morning. I was feeling pretty bad about that. The weigh-in. Uh, I hit my macros. I did my cardio. So uh, I remember I was talking that morning, actually, Ben King, um, he messaged me and he kind of helped me pick my head up a little bit. So. Thank you for that, brother. And I also talked with Josh Carball that day. Um, so thank you too, brother. I'm gonna link both of those guys' channels in the description, good guys. I know uh, Ben's not really been posting as much right now. He's got a lot of stuff going on with his life, but you know, whenever you get the chance, brother, we like to see you back on YouTube. So uh, yeah, what I've decided to do starting this week for the remainder of the week um, I decided to cut my calories, but I didn't know how much I was going to cut it or if I should add in another day of cardio or what I should do. So I reached out to Nate Hanley. Um, so some of you guys probably already know Nate. If you don't know Nate, go check his channel out too. His link will be in the description. Uh, real good guy, super knowledgeable. He's into powerlifting, bodybuilding, all this different stuff. He's a certified personal trainer, all this, all this stuff. Great guy. So, uh, yeah, I asked him for his advice, what he thought I should do, and he told me that I should drop my fats a little bit because my fats were already pretty high and they didn't really need to be that high. So I'm gonna take his advice and I'm gonna drop my fats uh, 15 grams. Uh, so that brings me down to 275 carb, 205 protein still, and then 75 grams of fat. And that makes my calories now 2,585. If I did the math properly, that's what it should be. Nate also advised me to do another weigh-in in in the middle of the week, which I did this morning, Wednesday, July 13th, and I weighed 213.5 pounds. So, my last weigh-in was 212.7 after the first week but you know i kind of thought some of that was water weight anyways so we're just gonna run this the rest of the week it's probably still gonna stick with two days of cardio if i go up to three i'll tell you guys about it in my next video which will be monday so i'm not too worried about it it's just when you're expecting to see a number on the scale some of you guys know how it is and you don't see it it's a little bit discouraging but uh We're going to get there. So this has been episode five. Not sure what footage you guys are going to see or if this is going to overlay some workout footage. Um, But you'll see me in this shirt again when I do overhead press whenever you see that, which might be the next video where I update you on how the program is going for August 753. But I've talked enough, so I'll let you guys go. And if you don't see anything else, you guys already know. Peace out. Ha! The fucking wind probably just ruined that whole recording. I'm so pissed if it did. All right, guys. I decided to go into a small bit of commentary on the workout footage portion. Um, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to put any workout footage in with this video, but I figured, hey, you know what? If if they want to watch it. They'll watch it. If not, they'll skip through it or whatever. At least I'll get to show some of my deadlifts. So today we were doing, uh, what is this? 285. 285 for 10 sets of 3 reps, which is a calculated 
85%, I believe, uh, from the 90 percentile one rep max that you have to go off of the first week for August 753. And as you can see, the deadlifts are moving pretty, pretty good. I'm fairly happy with my form with these. Maybe my hips are shooting up a little bit fast, but you know, that's something I can work on as we go. But I'm just happy to be able to, to be pulling again, to be honest. My lower back has kind of been bothering me this week, but we'll see how it goes. Um, these are some walking lunges, of course. They suck, and my knee's buckling a little bit, and I had to move around that machine back there because it was pretty tight. And here we go with some stiff leg deadlifts. I believe, I always get them mixed up if the, these are like stiff legs or what. I try to keep my knees locked out, but I, I end up bending a little bit. But either way, they really got my hamstrings and my glutes sore so that I know they were working right. And we got the hip abduction, adduction machine here. You guys see me uh, getting it done. There ain't a whole lot to that, so this is what it is. But my hips actually are pretty sore from that as well. And I finished it off with some ab machine work. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're coming to the end of this video, so subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out.